Hello and welcome. Today we are in the Tier 8 Soviet battleship, the Lenin. She is essentially a Tier 8 Nelson, which is actually quite an advantage because Tier 8 battleships have 32mm uh, standard armor, so their bow and stern are 32, whereas Nelson is Tier 7, which means that she has 25mm of the same armor. Now, that's a big deal because... Uh, Higher caliber guns, that is only 460mm caliber guns, so Yamato and Musashi can overmatch 32mm of armor, whereas um, quite a few battleship guns can overmatch uh, 25, so we're talking 380 and higher will be able to overmatch a Nelson, whereas uh, only 460 can overmatch the Lenin. You, you might even think, why is the... Nelson not tier 8, but unfortunately I don't have an answer to that. Other than that, it's a pretty standard Soviet battleship. She has the Soviet accuracy, at least supposedly. Uh, the shells are fairly standard. They have decent penetration, or even good penetration. She still has the limit of 5 damage control parties, but they have a very quick reload. She does have a fighter plane, which is nice but she does also only have four heals, unlike many of the other battleships that have five. Planes are coming, so I'm gonna launch uh, a fighter plane. This is unfortunately a CV match, and it is a tier 10 CV match at that. Hakuryu and Audacious. I mean, we are fighting a Des Moines after all. It's not exactly a tier 8 ship. So matchmaking is not the kindest to us in this game, but hopefully it won't matter too much. I'll just have to be near higher tier ally and then perhaps the CV is not as likely to strike me. Finding a target to shoot here would be useful though. I would have stayed in the middle, but the only ship over there was the Henri and I don't think I can keep up with her. So if she decides to just run away, I won't have a partner to give me anti-air anymore. I think we can actually take the sea cap at this point. We took care of their destroyer over there, and uh, we have an Iowa gearing and Hindenburg pushing over there. And the enemy does seem to be more focused on the A cap anyway. Wow, being in the middle would be so nice right now for damage. Moskva and the Des Moines both are appropriate targets, but it's, again, too dangerous due to the CV. Because if you end up stuck in a place where the CV, you know, starts striking you, you can't, you know, teleport away from that position. It takes quite a long time to end up in a different position. Oh, Alex is a potential target. I might as well fire because I won't be able to fire at anything else anyway. I mean, even if I get to fire on the Izumo, she is not exactly a great target. She is angled, and the Izumo is very resistant to AP. Oh, this Des Moines seems to be uh, willingly donating her ship to me. Oh no, Yamato's gonna get her first. God damn it. Yamato, why do you do this to me? Why can't you be nice to your tier 8 teammates, okay? Maybe one day they'll grow up and want to be just like you if you treat them well, but... That doesn't happen if you do these kinds of things. You really should have left that to me. You should have shot the black instead, okay? Well, unfortunately, I'm already committed. I can't exactly turn out here, because the black probably has to... No, actually, she does not appear to have torpedoed after all. Okay, no, in that case, I can probably take the risk of just turning out. Oh, there's a Moskva over there. Hopefully black torpedoes don't just suddenly appear here. That would be quite a shame for me. Wow, that CV hurt the black quite significantly. Anyway, we're gonna be behind the island soon. Although you can't never ever celebrate too early against black torpedoes because they have incredibly good concealment range. Meaning that... Uh, they can just appear next to your ship, and it's too late to do anything about it. I thought the Lenin was supposed to be accurate. I mean, it's a Soviet battleship. What gives? My shells do not seem to be finding their targets. I mean, 
Is it because I have bad aim? Nah, can't be. I have perfect aim. I never aim poorly. It is impossible. I know, it seems the red team really likes the uh, bottom left corner. They seem to be congregating over there with their tier 10 ships and other stuff. It's not that hard to dodge torpedoes if you know they're coming, especially when they're as slow as the Lenin torpedo or the black torpedoes, not Lenin torpedoes. Would be quite amazing if this battleship had torpedoes too, huh? Probably not so much for all the battleships fighting her, though. I guess I'll go through the gap. Because maybe then I'll get to fight the Moscow. I'd like to fight something that's not half the map away. Perhaps she won't even suspect I'm coming if I uh, don't actually fire my guns. That is, get spotted before. What is the enemy CV doing? I haven't seen planes for a long time. How could he is not dead? So what gives? Is she like AFK? Because that would be quite a shame. Well, actually, no, it's not a shame. It's a shame for the enemy team, but it's great for my team, I suppose. And consequently me. Come on, Moskva. Three ricochets, and I only did less than 3,000 damage. <sighs> it's not exactly a cruiser killer, it seems. I do have to turn away after the Moscow fires again. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna already start turning the rudder. Come on! Nice. This is what I'm talking about. Okay, that did hurt in return, but... It was worth it, and now we're turning away, so we're gonna be in relative safety, hopefully. Okay, we can see the enemy CV on the minimap again. Come on, Soyuz, you're supposed to be moving. Don't do this to me. Oh, I can't fire over this. Not the, through this forest, apparently. Oh boy, that Italian Venezia over there really doesn't like me. Well, I don't like her either, but I don't think I can do much to her. She is a very slippery, slippery ship to deal with. Even if, even when you can hit her, um, she does have pretty decent armor. Soyo seems to be in trouble. Would be kind of funny if we sank her, though. I mean, that that would be kind of like real life, right? Wrong leader takes over after Lenin's gone. Come on, I'm on a heal. Bismarck, a ship at my tier. What is this? A balanced match? Okay, I do need to learn to aim better. That just gave me... The game felt pity on me, okay? That's how I, you know, did damage there. Ah, uh, the CV took out the Soyuz. That makes me so sad. I wish she had taken out the, I don't know, Venezia or something? I guess she's not exactly a good target. I think it is the Bismarck aiming at me. Only two shells this time. But we are locking the cap, so that should give us some more XP. Is the Montana? No, no, Montana is not looking at us. That's good. Gonna fire, then turn my ship and turrets. Can already... You know, Nelson layout means I can just do this kind of weaving, which is very nice. And this makes me safe against the Montana and the Zuma. 
or at least should. I guess I'll still fire on the Bismarck. Actually, nah, we'll fire on the Bismarck. Izuma's gonna turn away anyway. I don't think we can take the cap though. Ooh, that's a lot of damage. I didn't expect that. I figured I would deal like another 2,000. That's actually pretty good. I mean, we're having a decent game at this point already. Not as good as that Montana, though. Oh, we actually did get the cap. Huh. Interesting. I'm gonna damage on this. I mean, I have so many damage control parties left. It is worth using them here. And she's gone. Wow, I guess the penetrations came from the massive superstructure that Battleship has. And Izuma is firing Ichi at me. Can you believe that? And Ichi is spamming Izuma. Probably tried to finish the Montana, because she is showing such an inviting broadside here. And there she goes. I am only a little tier 8 ship, okay? Don't worry about it. Oh, Venezia finished our gearing off. Okay. I guess it is. it does make some sense though. Venezia is incredibly effective against destroyers. Battleships tend to be pretty effective against cruisers as well though. And apparently that's true. Wow, we actually sank four ships. Unfortunately, not, not enough points to sink the Hakuryu. But overall, though, Lenin seems to be pretty good. I mean, she seems to handle tier 10 matches even pretty decently. As long as she doesn't have to go up against the Yamato, nothing can pen her when she's bow on. With AP at least, and that seems to be rather effective. Four ships sunk, four citadels. Coincidence? I think not. 120k damage only, but that was enough to put us at number one, but I suppose it's due to the fact that I am a tier 8 ship, and I believe tier 8 ships get more XP when they hit higher tier ships, and uh, I mean, we did, sink, we did sink a Venezia, we did sink a Montana, we did sink a Moscow with a devastating strike even, and uh, yeah. I bet that's what gave us a lot of this XP. Oh, and we also capped the base, so... I mean, we did our part. Not the most amazing game, to be honest, but... I mean... It's good enough. Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed this video. I would like to thank the patrons on Patreon. Thank you very much for your continued support. Rantanplan, and I hope I'll see you guys next time.